Hey beautiful, welcome to Juliet Kitchen, Yasmin here. Today I'm going to show you how I make an absolutely delicious ground turkey soup with root vegetables and some spinach and corn. It's incredibly delicious, super easy to make, and beyond that, it's also healthy for you. Stick around long enough and you'll see how I make it. Before we get started, Please be kind and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, your likes to this video is very much appreciated. Thank you. I'm using about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I have one onion and two celery. These were small celery. Diced. I'm going to let this cook for a couple of minutes just to bring out some of the flavor. Wow, it looks amazing and it's smelling amazing too. I'm going to add in garlic and ginger. I'm using quite a bit of garlic in here with about six cloves. You could certainly adjust that to your taste bud. And it was about a one inch piece of ginger. Add in my fresh thyme leaves. I have my spice mix here half a teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon ground cumin, and I like a little bit of uh, heat in it, so I'm adding half a teaspoon of uh, red pepper flakes. Okay, and this magic powder, this is uh, Puccini powder, three teaspoons. It really gives a nice flavor to the broth. Let that cook for about 30 seconds. Now what I want to do is add in my ground meat. This is ground turkey, 93% fat free. You could use white or dark meat. We want to add in some salt and fresh ground black pepper. About a quarter teaspoon salt. Quarter teaspoon fresh ground black pepper. Break up meat with the back of a spoon. It's okay if there's lumps in the ground meat. And I want to cook it until the ground meat is no longer pink. This way it brings out a lot of the flavor and the meat doesn't taste like just boiled meat once you uh, make the soup. Okay, I like the look of this, so I'm going to start the ingredients. Tomato. This is four wine um, bites and tomatoes. I actually forgot to take the seed out of this one here. Well, then I think fresh tomato tastes better. Carrot. That's three small carrots peeled and diced. One plantain. I cut the plantain very small. I dice them small. But those things take a little longer to cook, so by dicing them smaller, they cook faster. And then I have a yuca or cassava. These I cut into, what, two inch ounce and then quarter. I also remove that middle section that's very stringy. I don't want to deal with that when I'm eating the soup. More salt and fresh brown black pepper. Just be careful adding the salt as you go um, because you you better go uh, on the salt in at this point. You could always add more salt at the end. Once you add it, you can't take it away. Give it a nice mix. This is looking beautiful. A few more ingredients to add in here, but I'm going to add them in a little bit later. Actually, I do want to add in my cilantro. This is fresh cilantro, about half a cup. Next, I want to add in good old water. That's enough to cover. That's about six cups. I'm going to turn my stove up to high because I want this to come up to a boil. I think it tastes great. It may need a little bit of more of salt, but I'm going to wait until the stock has reduced because um, it's going to get more concentrated and the salt might be just enough. It tastes pretty good right now. I'm going to cover and bring this to a boil and then allow it to uh, simmer until all the vegetables are nice and sore. I also have some fresh corn that I removed the kernels from them. This is two corn. You can use frozen corn if you prefer, but I like the flavor of the fresh corn. I'm going to add that maybe the last 10 minutes or as long as the vegetables are softened, and then I'm going to also finish it with some spinach. Okay, 
actually the soup has been simmering for about 25 minutes so i'm going to take a look wow look at this the broth has a beautiful color i put some chunks of the meat here let's take a look at the veggies yep pork tender flattens are nice and pork tender so what I want to do now is add in my corn. This is two corn, fresh. You could use frozen, but I honestly think the fresh makes a huge uh, difference. The corn is also going to add a little bit of sweetness. Wow, beautiful flavor, beautiful. I'm going to actually let this cook for a few minutes, 8 to 10 minutes. I want the corn to still be al dente, so I don't want to overcook it. It smells incredibly delicious in here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That corn has been cooking for quite a few minutes. And then the last thing that I want to do is add in some fresh spinach. These are baby uh, spinach, so I'm just going to add them in and let the heat wilt it. This is about five ounces of spinach. You could put as much or as little. And you could also uh, use uh, baby kale. How healthy does this look? Look at this. I'm actually going to turn off my heat here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The red pepper flakes with just the right amount. Nice. I'm going to cover this and let it sit for a couple of minutes. Oh my gosh, if you can only smell this, it is smelling so delicious. Wow, my mouth is so watering. This is going to taste even better than it looks. Guys, it's seriously my, my favorite time eating. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. It's so delicious. A little hint of the cumin and the coriander, the red pepper flakes, it's not spicy at all. Mm. Mm. The sweetness of the corn balances out the overall flavor. It's just perfect. The carrots as well add a nice little hint of sweetness. Wow, this is just beautiful. Look at this color, how rich it is. Mm. Mm. This is amazingly delicious. I do hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Until next time, happy cooking. Subscribe to our food blog to get notification whenever we post a new recipe and follow us on Instagram.